you're going to come out a better person. You're going to come out a fantastic clinician, but you're also going to have an amazing time. You're going to meet um, some lifelong friends, you're going to meet lifelong mentors, and you're going to have people that genuinely are interested in your uh, development. We're like a family. We do everything together. Everyone wants you to succeed. Your classmates, your professors, your peers, they're all there for you. They're all part of the UD community and you just feel like you belong. Coming every day and knowing that people you know, generally are interested in your development and are generally interested in how your day is going and, you know, and making you the best you possibly can be. We want our students to succeed, so we put things into place to help them succeed. Part of that is the small group learning and hands-on learning that we do with our students. That can take place in the labs, whether it's orthopedic or neuro or pediatrics. And we teach the students the skills that they will need to be successful physical therapists. The hands-on experience comes in you know, within the first two weeks that you're even here, um, learning how to do range of motions and manual muscle testing. I think that's so important because in our field, it's very hands-on. Even on my second clinical, my CI told me that, oh, she's, she was so happy to have me because she could actually learn from me from my manual skills because they teach us so well here. One of my favorite labs was uh, the spinal cord injury lab where they brought in five or six individuals who have actually had spinal cord injuries. And we could ask them anything when we're out on our own and we have that spinal cord injury patient in front of us. We know, we know what to do because we've already been there. We try to expose them to you know, as many uh, practical and real life uh, scenarios as we can. So our faculty does a lot of pro bono work. So we bring in patients, we bring in really kind of special cases where they're you know, really neat lessons learned, clinical pearls. It gives our students the opportunity to interact, ask questions in a more candid way uh, that is different than their clinical internships. I really like that it's service oriented. Um, being a Catholic school and Marianist, we do a lot of volunteering in our community. We also have what's called problem-based learning, which is very unique to the University of Dayton. We're given a case study, but then we're, we come up with objectives, and each student goes out and studies that case on their own, and then we come back and we hash it out together and discuss it. You're sitting there in a group of people who are really smart, and they have different strengths and different interests. So you're all educating and teaching each other. We are actively involved in our learning. Uh, through conversation, we, we are forced to problem solve. We're, we're challenged to, to look at a case and look at it from a 360 degree perspective. And then they go seek the answers, which helps them be able to connect the dots between the lecture and the lab and truly relevant clinical scenarios. Foremost, we want the students to be uh, knowledgeable, so they learn the content. Uh, but with problem-based learning, they, they acquire this knowledge in context, so it's more memorable to them and it's more applicable for them later in life. And to me, that when I went out into the clinic this summer, that's something that I believe put me ahead. Every time I go out on my clinical, it's just, you know, we, we love your students, we love your students. You know, UD always brings very quality people. I think it's that genuine passion and commitment to, commitment to the patient, commitment to service and, and community that, uh, that sets a UD therapist apart. I really feel prepared, I'm ready, I'm really ready to go out on my own and, and just change people's lives.